Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Thayer or Cop Pro 300 here. I've got a pretty special review for you guys. I've got my Black Widow Razer Black Widow gaming keyboard. So let's just go ahead and set this down so I can show you some of the stuff in the box. God, this box is sexy. It's gonna make me freaking okay. So like normally there'd be keys that you can push right there. I got this. This is not a cheap keyboard. Like I got this thing for 140 Best Buy. And again, Best Buy is not that not the cheap. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in kind of some of the coming out of there. Some of the speculations of this over here. I can't roll it. Okay. So it's got all this stuff. If you don't know what anti-ghosting is, it says a 10 rollover, so if I were to press 10 keys, they would all register, as opposed to a regular keyboard, which would only register about 2 or 3 of those keys. So, yeah, whatever that means, whatever that means, whatever that means. Razer Synops 2.0 is pretty cool. Black backlit keys, as you can see up in here, and I'll show you the actual keyboard. And it says, gaming mode option. Basically what that is, if you are playing a game, say like you're playing Modern Warfare 2, and you accidentally hit the uh, Windows key, and it takes you out of the game, you know, because it opens up the, mo the tab. Um, if you're in gaming mode, this key is invalid. Like, nothing will happen if you hit it. Um, it weighs about three pounds. It's a freaking heavy keyboard. It's got a braided fiber cable that's like, really strong. So, it's got it's running Cherry MX Blue switches, and if you don't know what that is, a Cherry MX switch is um, it's a mechanical keyboard. So if I were to press a key, you would hear it pretty well, and you feel it. Cherry MX Blue are both the you can feel it when you're pressing it. You can like feel the switch if you slowly press it down right there, and you can also hear it. Cherry MX Blues are the loudest, I believe. Box out of the way. Okay. So now the actual keyboard itself. Turn the light on. Okay, so it's got this nice black sleek finish. And I've I bought this midsummer. Um midsummer of this year. And I have been very impressed with it. It's amazing keyboard. I have switched from Xbox to PC gaming because of basically this keyboard. And stop doing that. Whenever I hit the space, this thing pops up. Like, watch. Oh. This damn thing. See, it just pops up. Um, so, normally I'm not too fast of a typer. Typist. Raper. Rapist. Um, but with this one, I'm pretty fast. Um, yeah, so, there's one new thing that they have added. Um... Because Razer has done um, gaming keyboards before, and they're not. This is their first kind of popular on the market mechanical gaming keyboard. But so, anyway, this FN switch. If I want to change the brightness of my keyboard, instead of having to go into you know my programming and software, all I do is say I hit FN, um, and then I'll just hit this brightness button, and I can turn it. So yeah, it's all the way off. Now let's turn it all the way on. See how green that gets? I like to keep it about there. But so anyway, um, yeah, but before, like with other keyboards, you'd have to go into their programming. And I will show you guys the programming. In fact, let's do that right now. Because there's kind of a cool effect you can do. I'm not, I'm not really into it. So what you can do is you can, yeah, let's turn it all the way up so it's more noticeable. Turn brightness up. Um, so you see that pulsate thing right there? If I hit pulsate, what it'll do is this. It'll go dim, it'll light back up. So I guess that's kind of cool if you're into it. I just kind of like to keep it on a whole, just normal, non-fluctuating level. Um, but yeah, so let me show you the gaming mode I was talking about. So when that little G... As I was saying, when that little G pops up, that's gaming mode, and it no longer makes this button, which is the Windows key, relevant. 
So I can press it all day long. Press it all day long, nothing happens. So that's actually pretty convenient and pretty thoughtful because like if I'm playing a game I don't want to be interrupted my KD drop. So uh yeah, and there's also a nice little thing on the side. Okay, focus. Focus. Okay. So you can plug your gaming headset in right there. Uh, this does require two USB ports, as do most uh, gaming keyboards. So they're right there. They do require two, one for the lighting and one for the actual keyboard. But this does actually, it feels very satisfying to press. Like, I could go all ADHD and just tap it all day long. I tap that. Yeah, it's um really satisfying to play on. And definitely, if you have the money, I'd go with this. But, I mean, it's really up to you. So, I've been really impressed with this. Just informing you on how I like this. So, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in another video. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did indeed enjoy this, then I would... Yeah, just go ahead and leave me a like or a comment or whatever. See you guys later.